Put your helmet on, Liv. Put your helmet on, Liv. There. Okay. Okay. FTL drive engaged. No, we don't want to do an FTL jump. FTL engaged. Uh, I just totally alleys it up. reading unidentified spatial anomaly in this sector. Cross-check Atlas database for similar phenomena. Acknowledged. No records found. Recommend mission abort. Negative. Maintain course. The Kronos 2 remains priority. Acknowledged. Delta actual. 13? Cube set. Delta 13? You appear to be in distress. Who is Delta 13? I will take your response as confirmation. Delta 6, is there a problem? I suppose that's the problem. Does Delta 13 often forget their own designation? Athena, 13 appears to be malfunctioning. Please advise. Possible EM interference from the anomaly. Electromagnetic event detected. That was interference from the anomaly. Affirmative. Recommend all units perform cursory systems check. Proceed. Units, please verify your operational status. Delta Actual. Online. Delta 9. Online. Delta 6. Online. Delta 13. What's happening? Athena. Delta-13 is displaying signs of impairment. Recommend monitoring unit for further malfunctions. Acknowledged. Delta-6. Uh... Delta-13 <laughs> is your responsibility until further notice. Acknowledged. Engaging chaperone protocol. Delta-13, please confirm. Uh... That, that won't be necessary. But... Confirmation is a necessary step in the protocol, though your statement still acknowledges the order and therefore satisfies the requirement. Though, that is a peculiar way to... Be advised, approaching Kronos 2 mining facility. Distance, 4,800 meters. Did she say we are approaching the Kronos 2? Affirmative. The station went dark several days ago. We're here to determine why. Okay, so we're back in time again. Only days ago. Then the current year is 2126. Correct. Though, if you are experiencing temporal uncertainty or internal clock discontinuity, you may need to reset. Perhaps the clean no. sacred... I mean, I'm... 
No, here, no, we, here I can explain understand. a whole lot of My stuff. My name is Jack. I'm from the future. Or, rather, I'm from the present, yeah, but that, I traveled to Jack, the future. That, and now I'm back. Explaining I that, I, got here I guess. Or why I'm in this shell. We all watch 12 Do Monkeys, man. It's I, not... Nobody's going to believe this part. <laughs> Delta actual I'm from the future! The yeah, get me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Thru. I'm a... Tank commander, you're out there. This is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Kronos 2 is lost. Say again, my station has been compromised. We were hit by a debris storm caused by the arrival of an unknown vessel in our sector. Damage is catastrophic. That is my captain, Olivia Rhodes. What do you mean, 13? I already told you, my name is Jack. And I I'm from the future! Person. Get me out Jack. of this thing! From <laughs> the Kronos 2. If that were true, how are you here now? I'm still figuring that out. Proximity alert. Sensors detecting unknown devices in the area. Isolate and enhance. Identify. No matching records. The design suggests weaponization. Threat assessment and determined. Yeah, you're not gonna want you're gonna wanna make sure that doesn't touch anything. The SCI Ithaca and accompanying fleet are on course to pass within 47 kilometers of this location. That's too close. We need to establish a warning beacon. A civilian vessel shooting. Uh, Athena, report. Warning. Electromagnetic event imminent. That was unconventional. It only gets worse. Recommend maintaining a minimum safe distance from the anomaly. Acknowledge. Begin deceleration for deployment. Prioritize threat assessment. Initiating emergency deceleration. Vector continuous device. Deceleration complete. Be advised, the nearest device is directly off the port bow. Understood. Delta 9, take point with me. Deploy recon sats. Affirmative. Beginning assessment. Secondary objective. Oh yeah, you don't want to touch. Beacon. Don't touch that thing on the left. Don't. Delta don't touch it. Now. You're gonna wanna. That one's bad too. Don't touch that one either. Yeah, they're bad. You don't do them. You don't. Don't do it. I said don't. Mm -mm. Biological agents detected. Yeah, you guys are really not. Nailing this right now. Warning. Third electrical event wanna... imminent. Anomaly pulse detected. All units brace for impact. Happened, though. Something's happened. Did a I, thing. I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. I pulled your memory archive while you were out. Your logs are flooded with all this bizarre data. Delta Squad, bio torpedoes, something called the Ithaca. Jack, what is all this? What's going on? I went back in time. Live. I saw the Kronos. I saw our old station. Come again? I was on a ship, a shuttle. There were other Echo units, a military detachment sent to investigate what happened to the Kronos. Okay. Maybe you're not so all right after all. Called that one a little too early. It's not a malfunction. I was there. I was home. Okay. I believe you. Listen, there's... You don't have to lie to make them feel good. There's something you need to know. While you were out, I had a chance to meet with the captain of this ship. The man we heard over the comms? 
his name is Dr. Harlan. He said, he told me. Liv, what is it? What's wrong? <laughs> you know what? It's, it's probably better if, if you just see it for yourself. We can get a closer look at your memory archive while we're at it. Okay. Come on, follow me. Something's bad. Oh, there's our buddy. This Dr. Harlan isn't what you might call the cheeriest of souls. He might take some getting used to. Okay. Do you know? I have Jack. Can you let us up? I did warn you the station's generator was temperamental. How much longer can the ship operate on emergency power? Maintaining our current energy draw? A few hours. A few hours? Dr. Harlan? Jack, you finally recovered. I was beginning to think the blast from the FTL had obliterated your neural matrix. So, you're the android. The echo That's unit. That's right. My name is Jack. So I've been told. Jack, this is Dr. Harlan. My administrator. What exactly are you doing here, Doctor? Odd question coming from you. Dr. Harlan is a geneticist. Specializing in the biomass. You're here to study the biomass? I'm here to try and find a way to destroy it. He's also the one responsible for our extended stay in the hab. That was for your own safety. I would think that would be painfully obvious by now. Dr. Harlan, I need you to show Jack what you showed me. I have work to do. He's your android. You explain it to him. He needs to see it. Captain, perhaps I can be of some assistance. Dr. Harlan? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you very busy, man? See this again, Captain. Just pull it up. Very well. What exactly am I looking at? The future. All this orange you're seeing on the map? That's all biomass. That's how far it's spread. To date, the infection has consumed approximately 56% of the habitable solar system. Including Earth. Oh. How did all this happen? It starts with us. With us? With the destruction of the Kronos. 7 October, 2126. Your station, the Kronos 2, is almost completely destroyed when an unknown vessel suddenly appears in your sector. Yep, the Astraea. Correct. When the Astraea traveled back to our time, it brought the biomass with it. Called it. When we left. The infection stayed behind. Called it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 I saw I saw where this was going. In the days like, following the incident, as soon as it happened, ships unknowingly I did my first conversation zone. with Atlas, man. Most of the fleet's crew complement is consumed by the biomass. The infected fleet proceeds along its predetermined course toward Earth. One by one, the now crippled vessels collide with the planet's surface, unleashing a global infestation. Humanity has no defense. Billions of people. Most of the planet. Just... gone. Yeah, Atlas really screwed the pooch, man. The remnants of humankind are scattered across the solar system. But without any means <clears throat> to combat the spread of the biomass... It's only a matter of time. All those people. In truth, the initial death toll would likely have been higher had it not been for the captain of the Ithaca. Who managed Wait, to... the Ithaca? The Ithaca was the flagship of the returning fleet. Ithaca. That was the one that I was just on. Hardly surprising. I remember it as well. I heard it when I was in the past. When you were what? Oh, I was it. in the Ithaca That's just now. 
In your memory logs. In my brain meets right circuit board. Look. Jack, would you mind running us through what we're seeing here? I recall overhearing the ship was expected to arrive in Saturn orbit within a few days. And I we don't were understand. right there. For that to be true, and I said, "Don't to touch it." And they went boop, 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 and just went and touched it right with Earth. their hands, anyway. That is correct. Jack, are you suggesting that you traveled back in time? I know how it sounds. I'm not sure you do. This is why you I mean, so we all saw twelve monkeys, them. man. Like because you. You went back in time. Not physically. Just my data. My... consciousness. I believe the FTL accident may have briefly opened another temporal anomaly, disabling my shell and forcing my protocols to transfer to another echo unit. Four hundred years in the past. Evidently. You believe Jack's account, Captain? It makes sense. A botched FTL jump is the whole reason we're in this mess to begin with. Mm -hmm. It's the only explanation. That yeah, is really difficult the to dispute. Do you know you're with us? Oh, apologies, Captain. I was distracted. Something wrong? I'm not sure. Can we access this memory block? Just a sec. Just as I thought. What are we looking at here? Weapon Some form the of biomass weapon. I first encountered them while searching for you on the Astraea, <clears throat> and then again just now, when I went to the past. Dr. Harlan. Not now. As I recall, they tend to detonate when you get close, so releasing a flood of biomass oh, spores. Mm, lovely. Dr. Harlan. Still not now. Dr. Harlan, you should really take a look at this. I'm a very busy doctor. <laughs> Understand. What? What is it? The torpedo appears to be undetonated. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Where did you pull this image from? This is from one of Jack's recent memory logs. Recent memory logs? It's difficult to explain. It may or may not involve time travel. I'm sorry, what? We can parse out the details. We later. all saw right twelve now, monkeys. Doctor, this is all very simple. I'm a time traveler. I'm Jack the Robot, not the Delta Thirteen. And okay. All right, let's let's listen to what Mister Leave Me Alone wants to say. Oh, look what you have. You are studying a little these, toy weapons, in here? these bio torpedoes. They're, they're not weapons so much as incubators. Inside each one is a sampling of the biomass based genetic material. The infection in, in its purest form. All you need to know is this. If I could manage to sequence this material, I am confident. I could develop a means to eliminate the biomass. You're saying a cure? It's what I've been searching for. But every torpedo I've encountered has been detonated. I've never seen one with its payload still intact. But I have. If that's true, then you may have just found the key to saving what's left of humanity. Dr. Harmon? I'm afraid we may have more pressing matters. Juno's right. Energy reserves are dipping into the red. I suggest we table this conversation until we find a way to restore the station's generator. Perhaps there's something we can do. <sighs> Dr. Harlan, this is the part where you ask us for help. How do we fix the generator? Fixing the generator isn't the problem. The problem is getting to it. The generator facility is not accessible from within the station. You need to approach from the exterior. That's where I Search the outer hull for a way inside. 
With a few improvements, you should have no trouble at all. Where do we start? Well, obviously you're going to need a new shell. I will. Well, Goodbye. you can't go venturing out to the generator in that relic you're housed in now. No oh, offense intended, a fancy of brand new one? Of course. Is this really necessary? Transferring Jack to a newer shell will allow him to more easily interface with the station's various systems. As well as drastically improve his ability to maneuver in open space. Well, yeah. Not to mention... All right. Fine. So long as there's not too much of a strain on our power reserves. This way, Jack. You got it. Fancy new shell. Let's go. I have already identified a shell design I believe you'll find satisfactory. Vroom. It was originally meant for a rapid emergency response. The base design includes enhanced speed and durability, as well as a data link compatible with the station's architecture. <laughs> Get me in here. Give me in this shell. Okay. I've already Go uploaded on. the shell's blueprints. It'll only take a moment to complete fabrication. Ooh, I want to see. <laughs> I want to see. I've adjusted the shell's underlying design That's to account for me. the particulars of Jack's That's gonna be so matrix. cool. All you'll need do I get to be Metroid? So I can transfer your processes to the new shell. I don't get to look at it first? I don't get to see how don't handsome worry, I'm going to be? The transfer will be seamless. Okay. I guess. Construction complete. Oh, okay, okay. I get to look the at it. The new shell is Look how pretty transfer. I am. It looks like it. Yes, boop, boop, I incorporated boop, boop. Jack's existing facial structure into the shell's design. I thought it might help distinguish him. He is quite distinguished. Oh. Jack, you're clear to initiate the Wish shutdown I had a procedure little mustache. whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go initiate the transfer. Initialize neural matrix transfer. Verify hardware connection. Okay. Mapping the <coughs> protocols to target. Success. Initialize boot sequence. Jack? Jack hey, you what's up? You alright? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm a little dizzy, but it's good. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Who is Jack? Do you know what Liv, the... I'm fine. I was only joking. Uh, the transfer worked just boop, as Juno boop, boop, said. Boop. It was funny, though, gotcha. right? Gotcha. Hilarious. Here's my little well, Jack, right I'll say here. this. <laughs> you certainly clean up nice. Thank you. I must admit this shell's architecture <laughs> is much more spacious Blushing. than my previous one. Just don't go forgetting where you came from. Now that the transfer is complete, I'd suggest running calibrations to acclimate your software to the new shell. I should be able to repurpose your old calibration program to suit our needs. That's actually not a terrible idea. Then it's settled. I'll queue up the appropriate modules. Sit tight, Jack. We'll have you sorted quick enough. Welcome All back right, to the I'm real world, calibrated. Jack. Before you go, I'd like to make use of your new data link. Captain Lowe? Right. What is this? A data tile left behind by one of the station's scientists. I'd like to see if your scanner can access the information stored inside. Ah, interesting. What was on it? Research notes on the biomass. Anything useful? A list of genetic markers shared between the different biomass forms. That could prove most useful. Jack, if you find any more devices with data ports like this one, be sure to scan them and transmit your findings to me. Will do. Okay. I've also added a new data tab to your ARM computer to track what we've recovered. How much data was lost? We don't actually have any way of knowing, but finding more will almost undoubtedly be beneficial towards developing a cure, even if only in a small way. Understood. Anything else, Juno? That should be all for now. Come on out then, Jack. Do you read? Yes, Doctor. I need you back here to help me pass the FTL's output data. And bring Captain Rhodes with you. I could use her insight as well. 
We've nearly finished prepping Jack for departure. He's still here? I could have built an entirely new generator by now. Get him out of the airlock and then get up here. Yeah, he's you not exaggerating. Very this Dr. Harlan is quite irritable. Try not to be too hard on him. He has good reason. It's it sounds like there's something taste. I should know. No. Do you know? Tell him. Tell me what? Dr. Harlan is infected. Ooh. Infected with what? With the biomass, of course. I don't understand. He seemed perfectly normal. His infection is internal. A result of breathing in microparticles of the biomass. Though we have managed to slow the infection's progress using various treatments developed here at the facility, I fear the doctor may be approaching the final stages of his infection. What happens if he doesn't develop a cure in time? I'm guessing that very question is what's making him so irritable. I hope yeah, this might okay. help you That's better understand why Dr. Harlan is the way he is. His entire life, he's only ever had one goal. Eliminate the biomass. Preserve what's left of humanity. Thanks to you, for the first time in, well, quite a while, we appear to be making progress. Whatever I can do to help. You can start by restoring the generator. Lead on. Cycling the airlock now. Catch you both on the flippy flappy. Ready to depart. Hey, oh. oh, hold on. I was trying to be like all slick and cool. Hold on. Hey, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hey, one more time. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Ready to cycle. <laughs> Wait a second, Juno. Still cool, Check. right? Listen. Still cool. There's oh. something else. Captain what? Rhodes, maybe now isn't the best time. I'm not about to send him out there with only half the story. Liv, what is it? You remember... on the Astraea? When you saved my life by repressurizing the bridge? Yeah. Oh, oh no, oh no. The oxygen that flooded into the bridge was contaminated. Dr. Harlan's already run a test to confirm. The infection's oh. in my system. No. Jack, listen to me. The contaminants were microscopic. There was no way you could have known. No, I cleared the vents. Yes, you did. And if you hadn't, I'd have been dead almost instantly. Are you all right? Are you experiencing any pain? No, I'm fine. I'm not feeling any effects at all. Currently, the captain's infection is dormant. It takes time, often years, for the biomass to shut down the human body. What's more, her particular strain of the infection is less aggressive than Dr. Harlan's, perhaps due to her having acquired it in the past. The best thing we can do right now, the only thing, is help Dr. Harlan develop his cure. We do that, all our problems are solved. Technically, not all of them. You'll still be stuck in the wrong time. Yes. Thank you, Juno. Get to the generator. Stabilize the power grid. Hopefully, by then, we'll have come up with an idea for what's next. Liv, I promise. I will make this right. Nothing to make right, Jack. This isn't your fault. Now off you go.